Today, there are two million descendants of French Canadian immigrants living in New England. These are our stories. Welcome to the French Canadian Legacy Podcast. Venez tous jeunes filles et garçons, je vais vous raconter l'histoire de notre immigration ici au USA, de grands aventuriers de pays étrangers. This is the French Canadian Legacy Podcast. I am Jesse Martineau. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a different episode. In fact, it's not even really a full episode. We're just kind of going to have an announcement. First of all, it's going to be a thank you and an announcement. And joining me right now, the other two members of Team French Canadian Legacy, Mike Campbell, Melody Desjardins. Welcome, guys, to this special not real episode. Thanks for having me. <laughs> yes, thanks for having me as well. Yes, see, Jesse. So the the first big thing we wanted to take the time because we did a pretty big announcement with videos and stuff when we hit the fifty thousand total listens mark. That was a pretty huge accomplishment for us. So we wanted to start off before we announce anything else with just a giant thank you to everybody because we <laughs> believe it or not have now hit the 100,000 total listens. And that is tremendous. Way more than I ever thought we would do when we started started this podcast a few years ago. So this has been an amazing journey. And I cannot thank people enough for tuning in and being interested in kind of the project that we're trying to pull off here. So I can't, again, cannot thank everybody enough. We super, super appreciate it just want to thank everyone now that's across like uh youtube our youtube channel and regular like podcast listening but uh we're actually very close to a hundred thousand just on the podcast feed so to everyone that subscribes everyone that just like downloads an episode or two thank you so incredibly much merci to everybody who listens to the fc news uh when jesse and mike first asked me to do that that was quite a task to take on, but I really wanted to do something with my journalism skills. And uh, they allowed a random person who emailed them uh, this opportunity. And I've learned a lot along the way. Thanks, Melody, because the reason we started the FC News was because we didn't think we'd have enough episodes to do a weekly podcast so that off week was originally just the the preview but then we included the fc news and it's kind of like its own thing there's weekly listening uh a weekly reason to tune in because there's the full interview episodes and the and the news episodes as well and I mean, and just, I mean, with the 100,000, some of the things that have come because of that, some of the amazing people that we've had the opportunity to meet because of being able to do this podcast. I think some people know that I, I, got, I got a couple of messages last week from people who were on their way to work up in Quebec and heard my voice on the radio as they were going to work because I was interviewed by Radio Canada. And that is something that I never thought in a million years would happen. And that only happens if we have a ton of people tuning in. That's what makes that kind of thing possible for me. And I cannot, again, cannot thank you enough. It's what opens the door for stuff like the geo tour that we've put together, which is amazing. It's opens the door for Melody's amazing blog that she has with a ton of people checking out that is because we have the platform that we've been very, very blessed to be able to have through this podcast and people downloading it and checking it out and interacting with us. And again, cannot thank everybody enough for that. And I guess the next thing that we wanted to announce then would be maybe a little less exciting. And that is the reason why this is not a full episode. So we're just giving people a heads up for the holidays. Things are getting kind of crazy busy. Uh, If anybody follows us on social, you may you may know Mike's got a different job now. I have a new job than when I started when I started this podcast. So life's been pretty crazy. I mean, Melody does too, for that matter, than when we started this podcast. So life's been pretty crazy busy for us right now. So we're kind of, we're not necessarily, we're not hitting the reset button or anything. We're just taking a week or two to collect ourselves and we'll come back um, 
probably right in the new year with brand new material as we always have. It's something that we're gonna that we're dedicated to to continuing to produce on a week in, week out basis. Something we very much enjoy doing, something that's super meaningful to us. And we're super appreciative like I was like I've said, of the opportunity that's that's been provided by this platform. I just wanna thank everyone. We've met some amazing people. I can't believe we're at 100,000 listens. That is insane uh, from where we started. And I hope everyone has an amazing holiday season and we will see you in the new year. Yeah, we've met a lot of really interesting people. I'll get messages of people from Quebec saying that they appreciate what we're doing. So uh, it's been a long time coming. I can't believe it's been a couple of years of this uh, since I first started doing the news segment. And uh, it's it's been well worth it. I'm really glad that people have tuned in and they enjoy hearing the news. And it's fun to compile all these different things that are happening. And it's just so interesting and positive to be able to compile a whole list of articles, some podcasts, some events of everything that's going on in the French Canadian and Franco American community. Um, I had Never thought that was possible before reaching out to these two. So um, it's just been a great time just getting to know this community. And so thank you to everybody who's listened. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just speechless at 100,000 listens. Yeah, it's been awesome. I, <laughs> I can remember like it's yesterday, Mike and I sitting in a podcast studio up in Concord at Concord Community Television, trying to figure out how it is we do this, to put together a podcast. We had no idea what we we're doing. And I remember again, like it was yesterday, that first super awkward conversation with me and Melody hanging out at a Dunkin' Donuts on the west side of Manchester. And it was just, I mean, the fact that we've come from there to 100,000 in what is a pretty short amount of time, I think is pretty incredible. So cannot thank the two people I've gone on this journey with enough. I cannot thank the listeners for, for tuning in enough. And yeah, none of this is the book that we I've had, I had an opportunity to contribute to, Melody contribute to, would not be possible without, without this. There's just a lot of things. Life would be different if it wasn't for everything that's come because of this podcast. And um, the people tuning in is what makes that happen. So Again, I cannot thank you nearly. I'm going to sound like obviously super repetitive here, but I cannot thank you nearly enough. I hope everybody has a terrific holiday and we're super excited to be coming back with more material when the new year starts. Now our fathers look at us and sigh with despair To think that everything they love we simply do not share But the spirit never dies, our culture will survive each of us must choose how much to keep alive. Each of us must choose how much to keep alive. Special thanks to Josie Vashon for providing the music. You can find more about her at josievashon.com. This podcast was produced and edited by Mike Campbell. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at fclpodcast at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at FCL Podcast for more information about the topics discussed. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe and leave us a review on iTunes or wherever you listen to this episode.